Hey guys, what is up? Throttle PHI here. Hope everybody is okay. Today, ang mission natin is pumunta tayo sa Bristol, South Laguna. And we're gonna join the test ride caravan again. Hopefully, this time we can test a few more bikes, do a little bit of review, and mag-provide ng feedback. This is continuation ng Bristol test ride caravan. By the way, yung Bristol na branch dito sa Laguna, is ouch <laughs> dito sa uh, uh, Laguna Techno Park I believe this is still part of Binyan no? uh, uh, di ko lang 100% sure pero papunta na siya ng Nuvali actually uh, if you're familiar with that place so kausap na natin dun si Sir Joseph actually nagkaroon ng konting delay with the unit uh, but uh, Bristol was kind enough to set expectations naman and let us know what's going on so today uh, nakakuha tayo ng confirmation na nandun na yung mga units uh, that's why we decided to uh, go uh, this day so expectations uh, actually more on looking forward ako na matry yung Bristol uh, Bobber 650 uh, kasi natry na natin yung Maxi natry na natin yung Veloce uh, so yun, yun yung nilolook forward natin na matry or matest or kung available rin yung Venturi you know, why not so let's check and see uh, what units they have for us so, po, Kuya saan na kami Bristol? Alam mo na Ang ano po? Alam mo na. Uh, dito po <laughs> sa mapa so, May test ride po ngayon eh yun, mga so, balita ko medyo mahigpit dito sa Laguna Techno Park. You have to make sure na may glove and may vest and helmet. Kasi they implement the law talaga here. And I think we are here. Just need to make a right here. Ayan, Bristol Motorcycles. Woohoo! Yes, sir. Wait lang. Kayo po si Sir Joseph? Ah, okay. Nakalaw ko kayo. Parang wala masyado nagtitest ride, no, Sir? Kanina, marami. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Hi sir! Kayo po si Sir Joseph? Hi sir! Good afternoon po! Yes po! Carl po! Ayan, nandito na tayo guys sa Bristol South Laguna This is their office Let's get into the details and show what the Bristol Venturi 500 is made of. Unang tingin sa ride na to, kita naman ang sporty and rugged profile niya. Expected siya to deliver that adventure-driven performance para sa masayang riding experience. Power is sourced from a 471cc DOHC liquid-cooled parallel twin engine. Capable of producing 47 horsepower and 43 newton meters of torque, and paired with a 6 speed manual transmission, it can reach a top speed of 170 kilometers per hour. It is equipped with a generous 21 liters fuel tank capacity with a consumption of 24 kilometers per liter, which depends on your riding style. Perfect for a worry-free escapade. Pag may large tank ka and good consumption, mas malayo-layo ang paglalakbay na magagawa mo. Seat height is at 820 millimeters for a better field of vision and gives you a better perception of your surrounding, especially kung dadalhin mo to sa trail. With a ground clearance of 230 millimeters, decent enough to avoid obstacles sa mga rocky or rugged terrain. 
has a total weight of 178 kilograms, a bit heavy, smooth sa touring, pero may expectations na pwede ka matumbas ang even landscape pag nawalan ka ng balance. Sa brake system naman, naka 2-channel Nissan ABS system na siya, double disc, 300mm disc panel sa front, at naka KYB inverted type suspension, single disc, 240mm disc panel sa rear with a KYB mono rear suspension. It is ample enough to give you the stopping power that is needed and gives you the shock absorption performance to maintain good control of the bike. Ang mga gulong sa front ay 110 by 80 at sa rear naman ay 160 by 60. Both Metzler tubeless stars na siya, good for using on and off the road. It comes in four colorways para mas maraming options to fit your style. Merong white, black, red, and blue. For its SRP of 368,000 pesos, it does come equipped with a generous amount of features which includes engine crash guards, a skid plate, and a USB power socket. Features for console include digital odometer, digital fuel gauge, analog speedometer, tachometer, trip meter, and display screen. Test rate natin yung Venturi 500. Ito na siya guys. Napaka-boggy. Pag titingnan nyo, no, parang ang taas. We got big tires. So, ikutan natin. Ganda ng headlight. Signal light. Uh, meron rin siyang windshield. Uh, you can see the handguard. Meron rin siyang crash guard. Ang kanyang pipe. Napaka-macho tingnan. And parang intimidating, no? Kasi kung titingnan mo, ang taas niya eh. Pero, let's see. Let's uh, try to get a feel of what the Venturi 500 is all about. Okay, so first off, let's try to start it. I think andito yung light, may hazard, signal light, and horn. Tapos dito sa kabila, kill switch, tapos electric start. Panel, uh, kita mo yung gas right here. Gear indicator, may time, kilometers per hour. Meron siyang odometer right here. And I'm not so sure what this is, 161 kilometers bago mag-gas. O baka pwede mo pang itakbo, something like that. Uh, ABS indicator, check engine, naka-neutral. So may gear indicator rin siya. So andito yung buttons niya sa taas, set, select. Meron siyang dalawang buttons. Let's try to start it. Ah, no, start na siya guys. Pero let's try to mount the bike the bike itself. So right now as you can see na side stand siya. Parang ang taas. <laughs> Wala bang bangko? Kuya pa si Lasak yan to. <laughs> Anong technique diyan? Okay, okay na. Dali mo. Thank you, thank you. So, ayun na guys. Try natin sumakaya. Sabi ni Kuya, mas maganda na na side stand. Then, yung handlebar mo, naka-turn sa left. And you can step on this pedal right here. And uh, you can put your weight here para makatawid yung kanang paa mo. So, tayo. Ah. Alright. So, Clearance ko. Yeah, naka side stand ako. Nakatingkad na kagad ako. Mataas-taas talaga tong adventure bike na to. But tara, let's go and take it for a spin. Yun. Yun na. Macho sound na. Kanina medyo ano pa siya eh, no? Parang timid yung sound. Pero let's try. So I'm gonna make a turn very gently with enough clearance. Ah, taas chong. Medyo intimidated talaga ako sa bike na to. Yeah. 
I think it will take some time to get to know this bike. If you're gonna maneuver this, di ganon kabigat yung ano ah, handlebar. Like making those turns, naginagawa ko right now. It's not that heavy. Napaka responsive naman ng motor na to. So what's good about this is yung kita mo yung antas kasi nung seat height niya, no? So kita mo yung road. You have a good visibility dun sa kalsada. Di naman siya parang sobrang torquey, no? Siguro hindi ko rin ma-maximize pa masyado yung true potential ng motor na to. So mas yung senses ko buhay na buhay dito sa motor na to kasi feeling ko matutumba ko siya ang task kasi. Pero not bad, not bad. I think with, with more practice, makukuha ko yung timpla nitong motor na to. So makasabi ko lang rin yung distance ng left and right hand ko medyo malayo sa isa't isa. Parang same sa bobber feels like you can feel the stress or the tension here but um, I'm not leaning too forward. Tama lang. Maganda rin yung lapat ng aking legs. Siyempre pag nakaganto ka hindi ka naka side stand or naka center stand nakatingkayad ka lang rin talaga. And then what's good is also yung panel. You don't have to look down too much para makita mo yung kailangan mo makita sa panel mo. Diyan siya very visible. Mag buttons are all they look good. Left and right. Ayan, meron namang indicator. Lumalabas sa ating Venturi. Horn. Maganda rin. Tapos, yung lights niya dito. So, yeah. I think that's gonna be it for the Venturi 500. Taking the Bristol Venturi 500 for a spin was a real gem. It was actually the first time I got to drive an adventure touring bike and I can say that it was a really good experience. Kung ikaw ay isa sa mga type ng rider na mahilig sa adventure and mag-tour at the same time, you can definitely put this ride in your list for consideration. It has good handling and stability on even roads and feels really comfortable. The technology and innovation is also given for an adventure bike in its category. Although, it would have been better if we can actually take this bike on an open road to test and build its true potential. Aside from that, better than kung ma-experience or madala natin yung ride sa rough terrain. On that note, it can deliver naman what is promised, especially sa rough terrain or river crossings. As seen here in Miss Des Boon shows and videos, natest talaga nila ang Bristol Venturi 500 and it looks so much fun. Sana lang talaga ma-experience din natin to kahit once lang if given the chance. Overall, super happy ako with the opportunity just to even mount the Bristol Venturi 500 and take it for a quick spin. Maraming maraming salamat sa Bristol South Laguna sa test ride and hopefully we can do more of these events in the future. So ayun, gang dito na lang muna guys and maraming maraming salamat din sa pagnood ng video. Again, this is Throttle BHI na nag-iiwan ng mensahe na let adventure fill your soul. I'll see you on the next upload. Peace out. Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all